Do you procrastinate? This word, this single word, how many times do you think about it? Procrastination. Ask yourself, how many times have I procrastinated today? How many times have I put off that thing at the back of my mind that I know I need to get around to, but I just simply haven't done it? Reading that book, doing your homework, studying for that exam. How many times have you put things off? Why do you procrastinate? even though you know it feels bad. How can you stop? After being on self-improvement for two years, I can show you how I went from the kid who couldn't even study for five minutes for his GCSEs and failed almost every single one to a person who got A's in his A-levels. Well, the majority of them. To a person who went off and learned a whole nother language by himself, not with school, in my own free time. Someone who has managed to consistently eat good, healthy food, go to the gym, meditate every day, and learn, read every single day. That sounds like a lot, but trust me, after this video, you will be able to do it too. First things first, I hope you've been good. I hope, I hope things have been all right. There's a chance that no one's asked you that today, so I hope you've been good. Now getting straight into it, you see, it is easy you know, sometimes we have those days where we're super motivated. We're just like, oh, you know what? I am so motivated. I've watched this self-improvement video. I'm going to do everything I want to do. And you do. You go exercise. You go on that run. You actually study. Nice. But then you stop. You only do it for that day. And then you don't do anything. You go back to the bad habits. Video games. Procrastination. Alcohol. Doom scrolling on social media. You go back to all the bad habits for months upon months. But then, you get another spike of motivation, you watch another self-improvement video, and you do it again. That's useless. It's useless having that spike of motivation and doing all those good things for one day. That's useless. You know what's better? You know what I would prefer? It's a small step every single day. Doing one small, tiny habit every single day builds up. It builds up over time. As little as reading about business, you know. How many of us want to make money online? How many of us want to do and make £10,000 online? Have financial freedom? A lot of us, right? How many of us actually attempt that? How many of us actually try compared to how many of us procrastinate? Oh, I know I should learn more about it, but as little as reading five pages a day, five pages a day, that would take you around 30 minutes, less than that, 20 minutes. In a year's time, you would have read was it, I think like 1,500 pages, you would have learned over 100 new ideas and you could start your own business successfully from five pages a day, from 20 minutes of reading a day. You see what I mean? Tiny little habits, small steps make big changes over time. So that's one thing, but then it goes for the other one, the other way around. And this is the big problem a lot of us suffer with, harmful habits, a harmful tiny little step also builds up. Harmful things every day build up. Every single time you complain, every single time that you give in, you eat, you just eat a bunch of junk food as you're binge watching Netflix or anime, as you're watching a bunch of stuff, not because you're hungry, because you need to eat something as you're binge watching that series. Oh, I don't, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to do that today. I don't want to exercise. It all builds up. And the thing is, like, messing up once a month, once a week, that's fine, that's okay. But the thing is, a lot of us don't do that. When we mess up once, we go, eh, I've messed up already, I may as well not do it. You get to tomorrow, I'll do it today, eh, I messed up yesterday, eh, doesn't hurt to mess up today, I'm not gonna do it. Harmful things build up faster than the good habits do. Harmful steps build up very quickly. So those are things that you can do throughout your day to stop procrastinating tiny little habits to become better over time. But what about that thing now? That study you, you want to do right now? That revision that you're trying to get to for that test that's in a week's time. But then you procrastinate, you procrastinate, and then you've got a cram revise the day before. You're up until midnight just trying to get all the information in, and when you get to the exam, you still fail. After all that work, well, all that cram work, you still failed. So how can you stop procrastinating now with the things that you're trying to do now? And I want you to ask yourself a question. Do you give permission to distractions, to disruptions? Because 90% of us do. 
When we revise, we have our phone in our room somewhere, usually on the desk, where we're trying to work. We'll do 25 minutes of revision, and then we'll have a five minute break scrolling on our phone. Oh, and then you go back to revision, and then you do another f- a five minute break, and then a 10 minute break. Oh, look, an hour's passed. And then you get distracted. It's because you're allowing it. You're allowing distractions to be there. You're giving permission to them. You're basically saying to yourself, I don't want to do work. I want to procrastinate. That's not what we want. Don't give permission to disruptions. When you're trying to do work, put your phone in a whole different room. Put it somewhere else completely. Make sure you're working in a room that that doesn't have any distractions, that doesn't have any of your distractions. In your room. No, not that book. Oh, maybe I could tidy up my room. Instead of revising. You have so many distractions in your room. Work in a place that has no distractions. Nature, for one. Dude, literally go sit outside in your garden and revise there. It's better and it works. And another little boost for you. So, going over. You want to be, you know, productive over time. Do small steps every single day. Over time, small steps make a big change. Harmful things, they build up too. So just be wary. And then wanting to be you know, stop procrastinating now with that task at hand. Stop giving permission to your distractions, disruptions. Work in an environment that doesn't have any distractions. So you don't procrastinate. And another thing you can do, serotonin. There are lots of hormones that make you more focused, you know. Dopamine is the regulator of focus and attention. Most people will be like, ah, but dopamine's like happiness. It is happiness, but... It's actually oxytocin inside dopamine that gives that happiness, joy, hormone, feeling. Um, Dopamine actually more helps with focus. But there's also another, another that we can do right now. Because dopamine's a bit harder to, like, improve. You've got to research a lot behind that about, like, you know, what foods to eat, you know, how to sleep better, all this kind of stuff, right? But there's one thing you can do now to improve your serotonin, which does help improve your focus. And that is your memory. Think about a moment in time where you were happy. I want you to close your eyes right now. It's just you and me. You probably have headphones on. Just close your eyes and just think. When was the time I was happy? I was really happy. Maybe it's with this friend group. Maybe it's that one time me and my family got on well. Maybe it's that school trip. Maybe it's a time with that relationship. That girl that you loved or that guy that you loved. Just think. A really positive happy time. I think the best one to do is with friends. You know, for me, I'll be thinking about every time I'm at the skate park with friends, or I'm at the den, where we're, me and my friends, if we were really young, like 10 years old, building our own den that we built on for like years. Think about a really good, happy, emotional time in your life. Now, how much do you want to work? Do you feel like getting down and doing that revision? Do you feel like cleaning your room up now? Do you feel like stopping procrastinating? Whilst you have that fat smile on your face, can you see how serotonin helps you build focus and more importantly, eliminate procrastination? Look, I know, I know procrastination is addictive. I know it's hard. It's nice to procrastinate. It's nice to not do those things until it's not nice and it's stressful and you know you need to get it done. That's why we all cram revise. That's why we all do our homework right, right before we go to school. Or like literally five minutes before the the lesson. I used to do that. I used to do my homework in the lesson that it was due. It'd usually be due at the end of the lesson. I'd literally do it then and there. So why do we do that? It's addictive, man. It's really addictive. Just be mindful. It's the most... I think that there's one key information I give you. It's just be mindful. Just be wary. I hope this video helped you out. And I hope you've been good. I hope things have been alright. And if you like me, and you want more content from me, and you want to support me, within the next few weeks, I will be creating a community on the website known as School. Now, on there, you'll be able to ask questions about personal videos, my experiences, you'll be able to ask other people, it'll be a full community I put out on there, if you want more content from me. I haven't done it yet, I haven't sorted it out yet, it's like in the process of it now, so in the next couple weeks it will be coming out. So for now, I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner there. Because that video could help you out. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, self-improvement kiss. Come here. Mwah.